Okay guys, so I'm back here in another video and today I'm going to be showing guys how you can install an app on your Raspberry Pi OS called Play on Linux. So if you don't know what this is, this is an app that uses Wine to emulate Windows software. But it already has like a menu in it and it all already has all these apps that you can install with just one click of the button. So it's really easy for beginners or even anyone. It just helps them to be able to install Windows apps more easily. But to do this, we do need Box86, and to install Box86, the fastest way we're going to be using PyApps, because PyApps already has it compiled. Where if you have, if you go to the Box86 GitHub page and compile it, it will take a lot longer. So open up your web browser, go type in PyApps, and a GitHub page will show up right here by Botspot. Click on that one. Scroll down here to this install place it should be right here to install pi apps just copy this part right here copy it open up a terminal paste it in there and hit enter and it should start installing pi apps for us you can close out the window you don't need it so hit enter it says yeah it is required but is not installed install now yes i want to install it so you type y and enter so let me talk a little bit more about this you're able to install tons of Windows programs with just one click of the button. And it works really well, honestly, on the Raspberry Pi. I was surprised on the performance. It's a little bit different than the other one because the other one, you have to supply all of your files, your Windows files. This one already has them there that you can just click with one of the button. Okay, so it looks like PyApps is installed for me. So let's go over here to PyApps and open it up. So execute. And we're gonna need box 86 so box 86 would be considered a tool so it's gonna be in tools and right here we have box 86 so click on box 86 click on the little plus sign and it's gonna start getting box 86 for us you see this one takes doesn't take as long because it's already compiled but it, and it's just like a zip file that he extracts and installs on our system but the other way Compiling usually takes to like 20 minutes even or 30 minutes depending on your connection So it just this this way speeds up stuff a lot and I'm so glad to have it in Pi apps because it's so easy to install So box 86 is installed so before we install play on Linux I want to make sure that box 86 is successfully installed so we can just cl close up Pi apps right here and in the terminal we're gonna type box 86 and hit enter if you see all these outcomes it probably means that box 86 is successfully installed if you look up here it's our it's all installed and we're good to go so now we need to install play on linux and that's actually pretty easy to do what you're going to type is sudo apt apt install play on linux this is all you have to type hit enter and hit y and it's going to start installing the software for us that's called Play on Linux. Okay, so here I have Play on Linux successfully installed because you see it's done installing. Well, before doing this, we're going to need to reboot for this process to work correctly. So you can just type reboot in the terminal, hit enter, and I'll come back. Okay, so I rebooted and here's my system. Now let's go try to launch Play on Linux and see if this thing actually works. So you just go right here, go over to Accessories, and we have it right here, Play on Linux. So double click on that, and it might take a minute to launch. Just give it some time. So right here we have Play on Linux. So it's actually refreshing Play on Linux right now, but if you wanted to install a program, you just click right here, Install a Program. And you see it kind of comes up right here, but you don't see anything. There's kind of a little bug with that, so you have to fix it. It's actually right here, but you can't pull it or do anything. So to fix that, you hold down, go over to Maximize, and here we have the install place. So it's ma refreshing right now. I just need to give that some time to finish gathering all the information about the apps that are compatible with my system. It is done refreshing now because you see that thing's not here anymore. So now to install apps, let's try something simple like paint. So I'm going to go over here to graphics and I'm going to search for paint. 
right here we have Microsoft Paint. It is obviously an old version of Microsoft Paint, but just the first test and see if it works. Let's go and let's click install. So you click right there and it shows up right here again. Hold down. Oh, why is it not lighting me? Hold down and maximize. Click next to install. It's going to load for a second. Click next again. And you have to do it once more. So it's kind of annoying that this does that, but we have to live with it. Click next. So now it's going to create a virtual drive for us. And on there, it's going to try to install Microsoft Paint with Wine. So let's hope it works. So it's downloading Wine for us right now. And then it will download the exe file and try to install it. This little thing popped up and it says Wine Mono Installer. So if you watched my last video on Wine on Raspberry Pi, you might know about this. We actually do need this for this process. So you're just going to have to go ahead and hit install. And then it's going to ask us to install another one. I think it's called GOG. I could be wrong. But So you just have to click install on these things and let it do a thing. It gets to the end right here and it looks like it's frozen. But it's actually not. It's just installing it. So with Wine on the Raspberry Pi, you kind of have to be patient. Stuff may look like it's not going to work, but it actually might. Oh, it's called Gecko. So click install. Because this is a error trial thing, so it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. It's just like fail and try. It's kind of annoying, but it's better than having nothing. So, and after we install Microsoft Paint, I'll be showing some other games and stuff that are on here, and we'll be testing them out to see if they work. Okay, so you see that Wine, Mono, and Gecko, and finish installing so now it will try to install paint for me looky here Microsoft paint six was successfully installed on my system using play on Linux pretty cool eh? so right here it made us a desktop file or you're able to launch it from the menu right here so to run it I'm just gonna hit run or you I could have clicked on the desktop file both both do work just so you know Give it some time because it is emulating an x86 Windows file, but oh, here we are. Paint running on our Raspberry Pi OS. How cool is that? I know it's a really old version of paint, but it still works. We can color in here. We can do art. We can do stuff. We can change, erase. I mean, it's fully functional. It will work. It will do everything that the normal paint will. So I know this is a pretty basic app. But it's cool to see it running on the Raspberry Pi. So now let's go and try to install something a little cr harder. Do you want to save changes? No. Let's go over here to install. I'm going to hold down. And maximize. Let's first go over what is here. So we have these accessories apps here. Development. We have some different. We have Notepad+. Plus different stuff there education a few math apps we have a lot of games I'll go through that in a minute graphics we have some Adobe stuff they're probably pretty old ones though internet oh we have Internet Explorer on here huh Let, let's try Internet Explorer I'm curious to see if it will work on the Raspberry Pi this is just a test I've actually never tried it so it could fail I hope not but Let's see. Okay, click next. Click next. And let's see if this thing actually works. So that actually failed. So keep that in mind if you try to install it, it probably won't work. But let's try out a different let's try a game now. So I think I know a game that does work for sure. Maximize. And we can search in here for a game. We can call Braid the demo version. So their demos means that it's free. I mean, you know what demo means. And you don't have to own the game to be able to play it. So that's why I'm going to be just trying out this game. To install it. And then we'll go through some gameplay and see if how well it does play while emulating on the Raspberry Pi. So I hope it's good. 
Okay, so that I've actually been playing around with this for a little while now, and I've installed a few programs, and also I've had some problems, so I'm going to be talking about those. So, while this is a great program, it still is very, very experimental on the Raspberry Pi 4, and a lot of stuff that you're going to try to install is going to say it's incompatible. Most stuff that says it was made in the 2000s, basically, give 2012, 2011, those all say it won't work because it needs an AMD 64 system, which the Pi is not. So, I've actually installed just a few programs, but I've actually had a lot of trouble so if you do install this in your pie i recommend you guys knowing that you're going to be having to play around with this a lot and experiment a lot because you might run into problems so 7-zip the very classic wine program obviously installed with no problem and works really well so that's something that you can install on here nice and easily but then we have braid which i installed which kind of ran, but then it would then it gave me this wine error, and I couldn't figure it out. So maybe if I reflash my SD card and reinstalled Play on Linux, I might be able to solve that wine error. But I'm not totally sure. So I can't show you the gameplay right now, but I can tell you it actually was running pretty well at the beginning. So I would recommend trying to install that. Microsoft Paint, I already showed you guys how it performs. Now to talk about the other stuff that's available here. There's a lot of stuff available here that would be really cool to run on here. So I can't really tell you everything because there are tons of software here. And there's just no way I, that I can go and I can test every single one. But I would, it's a fun little project to mess around with on your Pi. Play around with, test out what you can, what works and what doesn't. So I really recommend you guys doing this. You might, a lot of these games, the older ones probably do run but a lot of them you actually have to own a copy of it so that might be a little thing to keep in mind but yeah it's actually been a pretty cool experience i mean you're gonna run into errors and stuff but it, that's what the pie is you play around with it nothing if everything worked right from the beginning what would be the fun of it i mean everything would just work and you wouldn't have anything to tinker around with so that's why i like the pie but yeah this program is pretty nice I definitely recommend you trying to install it on your Pi and just have some fun. Like this is 2011, so if I try to install it, I'm almost certain that it won't install. So that's just some stuff to keep in mind. But yeah, so if this video was helpful for you guys, any questions about it or anything you want to tell me about it, just hit me down, down below in the comments. And if you have any other video recommendations or if you want a video made about some topic, just let me know and I'll try to do my best and create one. So, yeah. Please hit that like. Please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.